welcome to all myself professor deshmukh ms presenting the theory lectures based on the subject dynamic of machinery having unit number 4 that is a static balancing machine so what exactly in the static balancing machine what is static balancing that only the forces acting on the system that is unbalanced forces are make a balance under that condition we call it as a static balancing and the machine we are using for this that we are seen in this uh, the presentation now that is balancing of machine balancing which indicate whether the part is balanced or not and it is a if not it measure the unbalance by indicating its uh, magnitude and the location so it's simply that balancing means what is the unbalanced mass mass that should be equal to zero okay static balancing machines is helpful for parts for small the axle dimensions such as fans gears impellers etc the mass the mass lies uh, practically in a single plane there are the two machines which are used in the static balancing machine that is pendulum type and then the cradle type of balancing so these are the two type that is the first one pendulum type and second is what cradle type now come to the point that is pendulum type of machines now here that is figure is showing here that is a mandel scale pointer beam beam having the one of the mass is attached and that having the vertical scale okay mandrel so the pendulum having the simple kind of static balancing machine is form of weighing machines one of the arm of machine has a mandrel to support the part to be balanced and the other arm supports suspended dead weight to make a beam uh, approximately horizontal so mandrel is we can say that the one of the weight we are adding okay if the unbalance is represented the mass at m at the radius r apparent weight is greatest when m is the positions i and least when it is a b the length of the arms in the two cases will be maximum or minimum so look at this the vertical scale having the pointers one horizontal that is called as beam and mandrel uh, one of the end that is we are adding the w weight okay so calibrated scale along the pointer can be also used for the measuring the amount of unbalance so scale indicate the uh, the value of the unbalanced masses so obviously the pointer remains just in the case uh, is one vertical directions under that condition it is a statically balanced so when we are saying that the the system is statically balanced the pointer remains stationary if the pointer is varying under that condition it is a statistically unbalanced condition so that the case now that is a second that is a cantrel type of balancing now look at here we are having some motor is there motor is mounted over the one of the spring or supporting scale the there is a rotating part one of the uh, cradle is there which is posted Uh, which is being there where the motor and the rotating parts is uh, rested so as rotating they are having the uh, the forces are acting that is a m r omega square and that of your horizontal that is m r omega square cos theta so similarly that the case so it is a more sensitive machine than the pendulum type so uh, pendulum is less uh, sensitive while this is a more sensitive okay it consists of the candle supported on a two pivoted pp parallels now figure showing that pp is the parallel which, which are pivoted okay and held the position by the two springs there are having the two spring from the front side we are say that it is a uh, two spring on the side view that is having the single speed but it is having the two springs are there which don't know why it is the part to be tested is mounted on the cradle and the line is flexible coupled of electric motor and then again the motor is started and the speed of rotation to this particular motions is the motor is started and speed of rotation so what this tells so that it coincides with a natural frequency of system that the condition of resonance is obtained under which even a small amount of unbalance generates a large amplitude of the 
cradle the moment due to unbalance and where omega is the angular velocity of the rotation its the maximum value is mr omega square l if the part is in static balance but dynamic unbalance so no oscillations of the cradle will be there so pivoted by the parallel axis of rotation so this is the case the resonance is obtained under the even a small amount of unbalance generated at the large amplitude of cradle now the cradle will define here the kind of the balance or unbalance situations so if there is unbalance situations it has having some amplitude and the amplitude create if there is a resonance is there so under that condition that resonance cause the maximum amplitude and that maximum amplitude will cause the effect over the system that system may get damaged by the thing so these are the things so what happen in this case of the static balancing the static balancing which having the two that is pendulum type and the cradle type the pendulum type which having the scale if the scale is vertical or rotational under that condition the system is statistically balanced a b the it is a uh, flexible or we can say it is having some readings under that condition it is a it is having the some uh, unbalanced situations what happen is the cradle cradle deflection will represent the unbalanced situations if that resonance is occur under that conditions it got the maximum amplitude which will be cause the harmful effect over the system so that system will get damaged so this is all about the static and static balancing have two types so in short we can say that in the static balancing we are having the only the force is balance if the force is balance it is a under that condition the system said to be statistically balanced in the next we will see the dynamic balancing which will be more easier again okay. so statistically balanced condition shows that the forces acting on the system is to be balanced so it may be the centrifugal forces which will be have some harmful effect that is a the centrifugal forces that is either balance or unbalance